My sweet goats, it has recently dawned upon me that video games are my safe space. And if you really spend some time thinking about it, it's very possible that they're your safe space too. And just to be 100% clear with you here, I'm not talking about a safe space in the social justice sense. I'm talking about a place in which you get to feel empowered with minimal limitations. If you're peeved by the title of this video, I can totally understand where you're coming from. Social justice and politics have found their way into video games, and that can be frustrating for a lot of people. I know it's pretty frustrating for me when I see everything being politicized again and again and again. But if you take some time to really reflect on it, you'll understand as to why this medium is being politicized so heavily. In fact, it's not really the only medium that's being politicized, but it, it's, it seems very apparent to us because we're gamers and we're very passionate about the industry and we're very passionate about the products that come out of the industry. And I feel like it's this shared collective passion that we all have for video games that spurs a lot of the consumer industry, consumer media conflicts that occur these days. And of course, when I say consumers, I'm, I'm talking about gamers, people like you and I, people that just wanna play video games and enjoy them, wanna buy them, wanna collect them, wanna do whatever with them, but just, just wanna have video games in our lives. And how could we not be a little bit wound up about how video games are represented when we have all of these examples to look back at throughout history? I'm talking about tragic events like Columbine and how they tried to use video games as a scapegoat. And then anytime Rockstar launched another Grand Theft Auto title, you had tons of local media coverage talking about how this new game was coming out, it was really violent and that was promoting violence and that it has tendencies of, of, of making your kids violent and of course, parents just ate all of that up because they trust the media, they trusted the news. And it was just, it's just tragic to see all that happen. And how can you forget this guy, Jack Thompson? This dude started a war on violent video games and it was just ridiculous to see this happen. He ended up losing, but it's just, it just went to show that people who don't play video games don't really understand the amount of joy that they bring to us. So don't feel guilty for being passionate about this industry are being passionate about this this hobby that has, you know, it's almost like an art form. Because it's super easy to get wound up when the public perception of video games is as bad as it is. I believe that video games have helped hundreds of thousands of people, if not millions of people, deal with issues in their lives in a very, very safe manner. Whether it's bullying, abuse, depression, all sorts of issues that people have had throughout life and continue to have throughout life, have been in some way made easier to deal with because of video games. And I'm just saying this because I felt that that's what has been the case for me personally. One of the topics that I see come up quite often online is that of mental health. And it often involves people talking about mental health issues, the possible solutions to said mental health issues, but it's rare to see video games being celebrated as a solution to mental health issues. I'm sure that some of you guys can relate but I was bullied through elementary school and the earlier part of high school. I fortunately graduated from high school, not having any issues with anyone in my graduating class, although it was pretty small, but still, it was just a pretty, I can look back on high school and even honestly elementary school and think, all right, those chapters of my life are completely closed. I don't feel like I'm carrying too much baggage from those years of my life. But the unfortunate thing about trauma, and this once again is just through my personal experience, is that it does kind of stick around even into your later years. I'm still dealing with trauma that was inflicted to me, you know, like a, a decade ago or, 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 or two years ago. Trauma just finds a way of sticking around. And I find that video games really kind of allow me to power through the moments in which that trauma may feel overwhelming or when it creeps up at you when you don't expect it. You know, it's really just, they've been there for me. They've been there for me in a way that other, other forms of, of, of media haven't. And that's why I say that video games are a safe space. It's a place for me to kind of retreat to and really just kind of explore myself in. So I wanted to just take a little bit of time here to talk about my journey online and how it started and how, how we found ourselves back in video games again. I know that some people who came along when I started talking politics uh, are kind of confused. They're wondering, why isn't this guy talking politics anymore? And I want to go ahead and explain that to you. I didn't want to make a huge deal out of why I'm not talking politics, but I figured that it would be an excellent way to talk about why video games are such a positive element of my life. So when I started on YouTube back in November of 2015, I mean, I uploaded my first video, I think in February of 2015, and, uh, uh, but I never, I never really kind of kept up with it. Then YouTube gaming came along towards the end of 2015, and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and try this out. And so I started live streaming every single day with an Indian accent, and I did that for about, I would say, I mean, I did that till, I did that for almost a year. Almost a year, I kept up this Indian accent caricature, and I just played video games, uh, and it was a great time. But at some point, I felt like I was, I was dwindling away 
any kind of uh, talent that I had. I felt like I was just, I was, I was falling into this caricature that I didn't really want to be. I didn't want to be this just this random dude with an Indian accent. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just, just start talking about whatever I want to talk about. And that got me into social commentary. And that's how I got connected with commentary channels and stuff like that. And I started just talking about YouTube social dynamics or whatever the f was going on. I was literally just talking about whatever I thought was interesting. And then that led me into politics. And at first it was really fascinating because I was like, there are all these crazy people. <laughs> I really, I, I, I look back at it now and I'm like, man, I'm never doing that again, ever doing that again. But anyway, I was just like, okay, I, there's all these crazy people. They're all saying all sorts of crazy shit. I gotta fix this, right? I gotta bring my world experiences to the table and be like, yo, this is what life is like. You guys are deluded. You guys are crazy. What's going on? Why are you guys talking like this? Why are you guys being like this? Why can't you guys just chill the f out? Huh? Why can't you do that? So I went forth with this underlying message of everyone just chill the f out. Just chill out. Stop, stop freaking out. Stop freaking out about life. Chill out. Focus on yourself. Focus on your communities. Focus on what's happening here. What's happening inside of you. Focus on that. That's what I kept trying to do, which of course ended up being a very futile attempt at calming down tempers online because I got wrapped up in a bunch of bullshit, a bunch of crazy shit. Either people on the left were accusing me of stuff or people on the right were accusing me of stuff. But as I spent more and more time talking about politics, I felt, I felt so miserable. I wasn't playing video games as much. I was just like, what the f is going on? Why are these people so angry at each other? And why are they angry at me? I'm not, I don't hate anybody here. I don't have any ill will towards anyone. I don't know who these people are. I just think they're being kind of dumb. Why, why, why are they so angry? Why do they hate me? Why do people on the left hate me? Why do people on the right hate me? Well, I can, I knew why people on the right hated me. All right. But people on the left hating me was, was the weirdest shit ever. That was for me, like a real eye opening experience. I was just like, wow, wow. I, I literally when talking politics, wasn't the right brown person for either side. It was just the weirdest thing. And it's so funny because I left doing this whole, this whole Indian caricature thinking I'm not gonna be this, 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 uh, this like typecasted or, or, or tokenized person. I don't wanna be that person. But then in talking politics, ended up being tokenized in some other way. People on the left are using me as this example of, 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 of how not to be a brown person. And then of course people on the right were like, and using me as an example of, of just how not to be a human. And it was just so, ugh, it was just gross. And then at some point I was just like, F this, F all of this noise. Let's just go back to video games. Video games are great. Anytime I'm playing a game, I'm doing good. I'm having a great time. And the people who are watching me are also having a great time. So I began the gradual process of shifting all of my content, my live stream content, my video content, as you guys have noticed, into the video game sphere again. And I know that it's left some people, once again, feeling a little bit confused. But if you look back at the history of my channel, you'll see that I started in video games and it's something that I'm very passionate about. And whenever I talk about video games, you can see the passion because I have an insane amount of unconditional love for video games. I just love them. I love them. I love the industry. I love absolutely everything about video games. They bring me nothing but happiness. Since I've started creating content around video games again in, a, in an orderly, scheduled manner, life has just been great. I've had joy injected into my brain on the daily. It really is the best. I don't know. I, I like you, you have all these drugs that you can take, but the best drug right now is getting a win in Apex Legends. That's the fucking sickest drug. All right. I don't know what to tell you or getting an S rank or in, in Metal Gear Solid 5. I love that. Shit. I love the endorphins that fire off in the back of my head anytime I win at something in a game. Video games are my safe space. And honestly, if you think about it and you also spend a similar amount of time playing video games, they're probably your safe space too. I'm not gonna really dive into it in this video, but going forward, I'm gonna be taking some time to actually highlight the positives video games have brought into people's lives in future videos. I really just something that, this is something that I just really wanna do. It's something I'm very passionate about. I want more people who aren't gamers to know how positive this industry is and how good it is and how much value it brings to the world and how much value it brings to humanity. I just feel like people don't give video games enough credit. I just love video games, dude. I don't know what to tell you. I guess I guess this whole video comes down to I love video games. That's pretty much what it is. I feel like I the TLDR version <laughs> of this video is uh, Bunty loves video games. Look, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm gonna catch you guys soon in another video. I know I'm gonna be coming out with them every week. 
I've been real good. I've been real good, okay? You guys can't tell me I've been fucking bad. I've been a good boy. I've been putting out content consistently. I've been live streaming on Twitch regularly. That's twitch.tv slash Mr. Bunty King. You can go ahead and find me there five days a week. You can say hi. You can be like, yo, what's up, Bunty? Just saw your video. I heard their video games are your safe space. Hi, you fucking snowflake. And then I can be like, shut up, you rat. And it'll be just a great time. We all have a good laugh. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this, feel free to go ahead and share this. Share this video with someone. If you feel like video games are a safe space for you, if you feel like you need to tell people how important video games are to you, share this video with them. Please go ahead and do that. Don't forget to leave a like, hit that sub button and ding that bell icon as well. Please do that. You got to make sure you get that done. Until next time, I absolutely love you. Bye.